If you guys reach that goal in my last video, I'm going to bring you guys part two France. We're going to address what to do in the situation here where we are coalitioned by everybody. Let's get into it. We currently have a very high amount of overextension we need to deal with, so we're going to stabilize for just a little bit here. And I didn't realize this, but I missed doing this mission, so I can't be an empire yet. So I actually need to work on this mission here. And that mostly means just getting 50 crown land. I just need four cavalry for this one. I can do that right now. Let's go ahead and build four cavalry there. That mission's done. So now all we need to do is get 50 crown land. We are quite short of that goal right now. We have 26. We may need a dev to get there. And a little trick for those using the half state meta that I'm using. If you go to diplomatic map mode, you can see where full state still exists. So you can kind of clean up the problem a bit here. I can see I let a couple states get through so I can kind of fix that up. That'll fix my gut cap just a bit. I also think it's not a bad idea to exploit dev when possible because this is just going to lower your gut cap overall if you're mass conquering like this. I'm just going to go ahead and lower or rather exploit my dev everywhere, exploit my tax dev, just get some money out of it. I actually can embrace the institution with that extra money and then maybe pay off a few loans or maybe just a loan with the other money. I'll probably go for my 1% loan so I can take better 1% loans at some point. But now we have just three 1% so we can pay those off. 11 total loans left. It's not the end of the world. We'll definitely get there. I'm going to summon the diet now just so I can look for some objective complete. I wanna, I'm want i going to have to seize land in a bit here, so I want to try to get their loyalty up. Just going to grab a workshop here for that objective. I'm going to go and disinherit this one for two. It's just really not, not a great leader. I feel like it's an okay idea to disinherit if you're under 10 total points. There we go, 425, just as I said that, much better. I'm going to get rid of increased levies now just because I want them to start losing crown land. They have 49% crown land, which is really quite high. For now, we're just losing a lot of money with rooting out corruption, but we'll, we'll get there. We also need a... Solidary trade and take over the English Channel. It's going to be huge for us financially. I'm going to break lands with Scotland just because I have too many relations. Looks like the Ottomans are going to attack Austria. Not much I can do about that one. I'm going to slot my focus to Diplo for just a time. I'm pretty far behind on Diplo. And I want to get my ideas kind of rolling along. Looks like the Commonwealth is officially here. Hitting that Tech 10 around Tech 10 time. Quite strange getting this one in succession this late. I don't think I want the PU, but it's just kind of weird. I'm going to try to maintain some that the Rebels are dealt with. Kind of breaking some money for a little bit. Trying to get through my espionage ideas as well here. I'm going to go and pay the core costs of the gold provinces I decided. So my autonomy is lower in those provinces. Just make a little bit more money. It's not going to be anything big. I'm going to wipe these out this war. I don't really... Mostly because I want to seize land. And I need to get my crown land up. Although I guess I need a tiny bit more if I want to wait to not get rebels here. I'm going to wait a month for this before I seize land. There we go. I'm going to repay my 1% loans and then try to take some new loans to repay my other loans. Just a little bit here. I'm just trying to save up money and recover my economy for a little bit. Partially why I'm doing this is because of my... Crownland scenario, and I really would really want to focus on my crownland. Let me get my text to 10, although I'm pretty unbalanced here. Espionage will counter act that pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and pick Diplomatic for my third idea set. Get rid of another loan here, just one more 1% to go. All right, paying off my last 1%, and then I'm going to grab the new Burger loans. You should be a bit bigger, and I can pay off some of my high interest loans that way. I'm going to start with the lowest high interest loans first. So it leaves me with eight total loans, that's not too bad, five of which are the 1%. I'm going to finish Espionage off here and grab the policy. So I have the policy here, the Royal Commission Act, it gives you negative 20 advisor costs and, and also negative 0.15 yearly corruption. Pretty solid. I'm making sure to seize land on cooldown. One of my major objectives at this point is getting my rank changed to Empire. And I'm going to start deving for Crown Land just to get that objective on. I'm going to go for the cheapest possible provinces to dev. I'm going to focus on using my military and admin, though. I don't want to use too much diplo. I'd rather have my ideas done. I'm going to focus on moving my capital soon. I know I need to move my capital ASAP. I do know the Reformation starting relatively soon as the percent is over 114. So I need to move my capital to the Netherlands in order to not trigger the disaster. I'm going to repay my last non 1% loan. So I just have the burger loans left. That's pretty solid. Making a good bit of money. We've now been recovering for a full 10 years though. So it did take us a bit of time to get to the point where we're kind of feeling like we're pretty recovered. I remember we're not planning to do any wars as of yet. I do want to wait for this to be done. I'm trying to get to that Empire status so I have a little bit more gov cap to expand. I'm actually going to switch my earlier reform here to decentralized bureaucracy because I'm in a half state meta and minimum autonomy in territories is going to be a pretty big deal. I'm going to go and grab that. It's going to change all the autonomy to 45% instead of 50, which will greatly increase my income. Move my capital here to the Netherlands just to be ready for the reformation to start. More people are leaving the coalition, so this is good. We're just kind of hanging out. I'm going to start building a little bit here because I haven't really have had the money or time to invest in my economy. So I'm just going to build anything that's above 0.1 for money and just kind of kind of uh, let my economy get a little stronger taking a bit of time off from wars to scale we'll definitely be getting back to the wars and shortly here i just wanted to take a little bit of time to let my nation stabilize and kind of get the value out of all the provinces that we've conquered i got this nice ccr bonus now we're completing uh, another idea here that's gonna be super good we'll take a minute to dev everything up just for crown land 
use my item points is fine too. Just want to make sure I get to that. Just shooting for this 45%. We're not too far away, but I don't want to waste any Diplo points in the dev process though. It's the end of our golden era, but it's not a big deal. Everything's going to be fine. If you guys are enjoying this content, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 6k subs by the end of the year. Also, if you want to see a part 3 and final part where we form Rome, let me know by liking the video. I will do that at 500 likes. We do have all level 3 advisors at this point. You can see they're all really cheap. I could probably get better advisors, but I'm kind of enjoying the money. We can seize land here. We just need a tiny bit more crown land. Hopefully we can dev for that. There we go. We hit 50% crown. Then we can complete our mission here. That looks good. And that's going to allow us to upgrade our government rank. The important part of that is now we have more gov cap space. Do need to catch up our military and admin once again because we did spend a lot of points devving and that sort of thing. So we'll continue to recover just a little bit longer here. I'm going to come to the Founder of the Faith just to get the extra morale and bonuses gives. It's pretty nice. I'm going to raise my military advisor to a 5 just because I want to get military caught up on. Grab tech 10 here. Here's the Protestant Reformation is finally here, 1533. Took it some time. I'm going to go ahead and send in score and pull to Scotland. Mostly because I'm thinking I can actually force England to leave the coalition. And he has all the trade I want, so I'm going to go ahead and send a gift to him. He probably needs quite a bit of money. That's fine, I'll 7550. And he's at 46, because I just need a little bit more relations with him, and he'll be forced to leave the coalition. I'm just going to give him subsidies for a few months. There we go, he's at 50 relations. He shouldn't be able to be in a coalition with me anymore. There it is. So yeah, we kind of just paid our way out of that coalition. Obviously, we're going to cancel our subsidies here. And it's time we reformed our army into our kind of later game template. We're going to do a nice 15010. The age of the horse is over, so we're going to go ahead and re replace our units. Get rid of the cavalry in our current stacks of guys. I'm going to work on this mission here just to get perma claims. So I need at least 20% heavy ships and then total navy size, at least 84th limit. I'm just going to go ahead and build up some ships. We're going to end up kind of taking 20 years off war in total, I think. Which isn't a huge deal. It gives us time to kind of... Get, get ready for the next phase of our game. You can, you can think of it that way. Kamal's trying to drag me into another war that I don't care about. I'm going to recruit some cogs here as well. So once, these all, once these ships all get recruited, we should be able to get permit claims. Get our tech to 11. What's interesting here is we're 0.3 unbalanced, but also it's fine because, I don't know, Diplotech's not that important to me right now. We're going to start building more armies now that we're kind of ready to move on to the next stage of our conquering. Build another 25 guys. We're up to 125 now. We're going to gear up to go to war with England soon here. I'm going to proclaim Holy War just to get my manpower recovering since I just recruited 50,000 guys. Manpower is a bit low. I'm just going to white piece this war. I don't really care about being here. I'll just trade some favors for trust over here. Trade favors for trust. We'll just make sure he doesn't want to break lines with us or anything like that. Go ahead and sail titles and then seize land. I have a couple more of my loans here. I just have three loans left. That's not too bad. Looks like England's going to war with Scotland. I probably want to jump in there pretty soon so he doesn't take land there. I was just waiting for my mission to be complete, and then we're going to go. So this mission down here, and then also this mission here. This should give me claims on all of England. Then I can just transfer my guys over to England, get ready to go to war with them. Get my maintenance turned on. England's allied to Munster and Portugal, so I can be ready to attack those guys as well. Get some guys to stand next to Munster. So we've officially waited 20 years since our last wars, so we did wait, we did take 20 years to fully recover. Or nearly fully recover, if you can see I'm in two loans. And I'm making a lot of money. And, you know, I have, like, I have, like, good advisors, and I'm in a very strong spot. And we're basically going to ramp up the aggression back to what it was before, and just kind of take down all of Europe. So we got all these nice claims going on here. We're going to call in Castile and just jump into this war. We got Monster up here. Hopefully Castile can deal with Portugal. I guess we'll see. Castile's requesting I go to some garbage war. Sure, buddy. And then it immediately ends the war. Okay. Thanks for calling me in. Eventually going to raise to all level 5 advisors. We're at now uh, 445. So we're almost there, we just need a little bit more money. I'm just going to call him the Commonwealth so he can deal with Portugal for me. But that seems fine, I don't really mind. We've got our flexible negotiations here, that's pretty huge. We're going to be able to take much more promises and more now. I'm just going to go ahead and fully annex Munster, take some money. Grab mill 12 a little bit ahead of time. I'm trying to save Scotland here from getting murdered. Should be fairly easy to do. Scotland, you better not lose this war. Finally finished up my uh, diplomatic ideas. Looks good to me. Grab this policy here. I'm just trying to take as much trade as possible in the English Channel, so I'm going to grab these provinces here and whatever else we can grab. So that's probably about it. Yeah, that, that looks fine to me. Take that and end the war. So we have recovered a lot of trade there. Got a mission done here. I'm going to go ahead and let us integrate them into our administration, giving us some reform progress as well as some other nice things. Probably should have got a path to Scotland now that I think about it, but it's not a huge deal. I'm going to pay off my last loan, so we are debt-free and we have a good bit of money. We can probably invest more in our economy. We'll build a few factories for the future. Now there's a mission here that you have to have 50 provinces of owner's culture. So I'm going to start changing some culture. 
probably just gonna go for the cheapest promises I can find. So here's one here. We gotta do this 50 times, so it's gonna be a lot, a lot of points. So we can probably wanna get started on it. We can be a military hegemon super early if we do it that way. Looks like the coalition has completely disbanded. Yeah, that that is super nice. I guess I'm just too strong for the combined coalition to feel confident or what have you. With that being said, I'm probably gonna go for a dismantle of the HRE now. Start getting a Diplotech up. It's only 102 points. We can probably get it up pretty fast. It's gonna be like 138 points for the next level. Like this, these are gonna be once a year. I'll go ahead and go to war with Lubeck here. Yeah, let's call in a bunch of people. That's fine. I'm gonna call my allies, Commonwealth and Venice. Major Reformation is officially here. I'll start building a couple of four summit buildings just to kind of get those going along. I'm gonna start taking some promises here, like all of Bavaria's lands. Grab Trier's provinces. I'm gonna grab my next reform here, and I, I like the nobles of the robe here, the leader cost. And now I have all level five advisors across the board. This is gonna be helpful. And I just saw this here. I need to turn off the war taxes. Although it's probably actually worth to turn leave on right now because I'm so far ahead of Miltech. I'll just leave it on. We also make a lot of points still. Separate Peace Friesland, Fallenization, Separate Peace Bremen, Fallenization. We're almost overextended, so we can probably just hang out a bit. And throw up a few more factories just because we have the extra money to do so. We're doing pretty well financially. Grab my tech to eight, I suppose. Now we're only four levels behind. If you're doing anything like me, remember to keep converting culture when you can. You're going to need 50 provinces with your culture to get the military hegemon. And don't be afraid to sit at these wars like this. Like, the war exhaustion is going to be nothing compared to what rebels you would get if you ended the war and got, you know, crazy overextension. And you don't want to fight rebels in every province you own. This is going to be a lot better. Can start with Lead here, Flanization money. I'm going to go down the war here, just take these three provinces and some money. The Emperor should have been changed now. It's going to be Brigands, by the looks of it. The Brigands, Sax. There's, so now there's three people left in the Empire I need to eliminate. We have... That guy, okay, those three. So let's see if we can get a war that encompasses all of them. We can concentrate a little bit of dev from these provinces that we've conquered as well. We're just a hair overextended here. Concentrate from here. You can often fix your overextension if you can concentrate dev. I do want to take out the emperor, so I'm kind of trying to work towards that. And there's a war over here I can do to do that. I'm going to go ahead and declare war on Stettin, call my allies, Commonwealth, and Venice. And I'm going to publish it Verdun, because this will bring in... This guy who's an elector, so all the electors should be in this war. Jump into that war. And throughout this time, I'm trying to convert a bunch of culture to France culture. It's just an objective for being, being the military hegemon. Coalition is starting to reform. That's okay. I don't really mind. I'm going to build a spy network with some people I don't want to join the coalition. I'm also going to improve with Portugal so he doesn't join the coalition. Yeah, we do have the coalition kind of reforming here a bit. Not a huge problem. My left guy's up here intentionally dealing with the rebels, so they're in a good position to do so. Oh, it looks like he got one more Elector in there. That's really annoying, and now I can't... <laughs> Bastard. Fortunately, I can't dismantle the HRE because I didn't realize this guy snuck another Elector before I declared the war. Or I probably would have called more people into the war, but that just didn't work out that way, unfortunately. And it's not a huge problem. It's a bit unfortunate I was playing to dismantle the HRE, but, if, uh, you know, the game of the other plans. What is this? Okay, they, they all have access to our state secrets. Uh-oh, it's over. What is the cup with this? It's random. Man, I could have coupled with that guy too, I just didn't know he was in the Empire. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and full annex this guy. The idea here is that you want to be kind of coring things constantly, but not going over 100% like I am here, so maybe I can concentrate like this. 101, okay. I mean, it's fine, we're about to finish up this one here. The idea is you want to keep a constant flow of things coring, but not be overextended at the same time. So if you can kind of separate piece people out during the war and then be coring some stuff, that sort of thing. Kind of keep the ball rolling. And remember to get rid of forts that aren't really going to be useful, like having the forts over here just really isn't effective. I'm not really concerned about Berg, I would say, but I do want to start building forts on the borders of, like, the Ottomans, maybe the Commonwealth, you know, Castile, stuff like that. I'm going to separate piece out Osberg, take Fungization money. I'm going to go ahead and piece out my longest white piece, because I don't want to get AE on the Ottomans. I don't want the Ottomans to be able to join the coalition with me, so I'm not going to... So I'm going to focus on not taking too much promises down here. We'll see. I wanted to kind of fight the coalition top down to so take out these areas first and kind of move south. Once we attack the Ottomans and get like a truce with him, it will be fine to do that. I just want to make sure that the Ottomans aren't going to be part of the coalition. I want to fight the Ottomans alone. I'm going to start building some forts along the Ottomans borders so I can kind of get ready for that. So just kind of building forts along his borders. That should be a pretty good start. We're making our best effort to continue to convert our cultures in Germany. We're trying to get that military hegemon at some point going. I'm going to start using some extra military points to go for some professionalism. It's good to have, if you want to slacken especially. So we're now up to 40 professionalism, that's pretty solid. Third piece, Wootenberg, Polonization. Napoleonic, Switzerland. 
I'm mean, keeping an eye on the Ottoman AE. I've only I'm only five away from being in coalition territory with him, so I don't really want that to happen. I'm just gonna have Denmark renew with this guy because I might want to attack that guy later. That's fine. Remember to keep the flow over extension under 100. So for example, I just core a province there, and that means I can go ahead and annex this guy and kind of keep that flow going. Always trying to keep under 100% over extension. That way you'll get some rebels, but not a ridiculous amount of rebels. Now I'll just wait to stall the war a bit for stuff to core, and wait we can fully annex the rest of everybody. This also has the additive effect of having the Ottomans get a little bit better relations with us on AE. We don't want the AE of the Ottomans to go to 50. Well, they'll join the coalition, and then the coalition will actually be a problem. i start building some government buildings now. I'm kind of to that point where I need them, and on top of the half state, I need to have some gov buildings. And we have the extra money for it, so we might as well. Now that we've waited, we can go ahead and grab this, and it shouldn't cause any overextension. So that's fine. They've elected Milan at this point. I'm hoping that Milan doesn't select new electors, and that I can simply dismantle the HRE when our truce expires. Probably won't get such luck, but we can dream. I've got this looming disaster here. This is a weird one. French Wars of Religion. This is something to do with France. It's unique to France. I'm not really sure. We'll, we'll just have to navigate it as it happens. Looks like we can just do this, enact this thing that gives us 25 opportunity, and I think that disaster won't happen. It's able to find a war that can dismantle the HRE, so I'm just going to declare war in Trent, and we'll jump into it. I'm just going to focus on getting rid of the HRE first. So i got to occupy his, and then I'm just going to send some guys to occupy Milan's capital, which is this. I should be able to dismantle the HRE here. It looks like Venice uh, betrayed me here. He doesn't like me anymore. He's sick of my conquering. I guess I can call him Castile, so I might as well. There we go. I can finally dismantle the HRE. Very nice. That's going to complete this mission here that I've been wanting to do. I do want to hold this mission, actually, because it gives your ruler a bonus till his death. I'm going to wait for my ruler to die, and then put Iron Crown on my next guy. I think that would be smarter. I'm going to continue to change cultures, trying to do it where it's the cheapest. It's a little bit annoying to do this, but it obviously will pay off if we can get a military hegemon. We're going to wipe these out this war. That was kind of the whole point of just dismantling the HRE. I actually don't want to get more aggressive expansion with the Ottomans. I want I want to attack him directly. I don't want him to join the coalition. Although other people are leaving the coalition. Okay, the coalition just disbanded. And now that I dismantled the HRE, I won't have that BB anymore, so I'm going to have to manually fabricate claims on people, so I'm going to start doing that. But it's nice to have that CB as, to as long as you can. But I felt like it was time to get rid of the HRE. I'm fine with that. I'm going to continue to find cheap places to convert the culture and just do that the best I can. Wow, a 113. Gonna get rid of him. Sure, Castile, we'll, we'll go to war with Venice. Whatever. It's actually kind of annoying, probably. Because that really means I have to fight Venice for no gain. Looks like I'll have to be carrying Castile in this war, which I have no interest in doing. I'm gonna grab another 25 guys, though. That's good. I wanted to fight England. I think I'm gonna ship some guys up there. Oh, we entered a coalition. That's cool that you entered a coalition, but your coalition is a coalition of one. Now I gotta fight Portugal. The coalitions are coming back, though. Dude, I don't care about this war. I'm not carrying you, Castile. Don't call me into a war that you just, you want me to hard carry. It's going to be a taxing war to fight Aragon in Venice for no reason. I'm going to leave the second I can for white peace, but it's just like I shouldn't have to be carrying this guy. He has no business declaring this war. I'm going to trust Auto Siege to get the job done up here. Okay, Aragon will white peace me. Excellent. So I have no interest in that war. It's just annoying. Now I can get back to fighting England. So I'm going to be sure that England has none of my trade after this war. I'm going to go ahead and end the war with England, taking all of the English Channel trade for myself. A little bit of money. Should be good. And that, that's looking much better. All the trade is mine. Still trying to convert cultures. We've got to be on top of that. We'll grab this mission here. That's going to give us that Iron Crown. And if you guys don't know what that is, that is just going to give you 20% CCR and a bit of war exhaustion. Pretty solid, but it only lasts, you know, for your one guy's lifetime. So it's not, the, it's not insane, but definitely... Pretty solid. All right, my only gripe with it is that it doesn't last that long. I'm going to work towards my mission here. I just need to take out these provinces, all these provinces in these areas. We can go ahead and start with the three leagues. I guess we, we need, do need to fabricate claims manually at this point. The CB War on the Empire is so nice. Not having it feels <laughs> feels bad, but but I did have to dismantle, so what can you do? Castile is pretty much dead and a useless ally at this point. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and dissolve with Castile if you see how this is going. It's not really a useful ally. But I will get forts on his border once again. Just grab a ton of forts here. I'm gonna rival Castile now. And Aragon. People are re-coalitioning with me. It's kind of a little bit annoying, but I'm trying to get into this war before he coalitions me. So I'm gonna go ahead and war here. He wasn't able to coalition me in time, so that's nice. These are all important provinces that we need too, so that's good to conquer these. I'm gonna go ahead and slack in a little bit. I'm just low on manpower. But I have tons of points, so I'm gonna go ahead and just recruit more generals anyways. Let's have a piece Savoy take these provinces. These are the ones I need for the mission. Going for this mission here, so I'm gonna to need to take those provinces, and I need to take Strasbourg's provinces. Conservative Peace Pamming Tank, full annexation. 
Then we're going to grab Prolongization with the three leagues. We're a little bit overextended, which is okay. We're going to get some Separatist Sediment here. Shouldn't be a too big of a deal, though. We have really good CCR right now, so it actually shouldn't last too long. Just about a year to core up everything. I'm going to go with Harsh as my option for the Council of Trent. I'll turn off Slack now. We're probably in a good spot. Not too concerned about it. We go and exploit dev everywhere. I haven't done this in a while. Just because it will help lower the my total development as they just have a ton of development and can't really... Eventually my gov and cap will run into issues. Quite a bit of money from that now and that's going to help just lower our total development so our, our gov cap can be a little bit safer of a scenario. And we're going to spend that money on government buildings as well. So that should help a ton with our gov cap. We're building tons of courthouses here. About 5,000 ducats worth. And I've now started the process of all the culture converting. We're going to be up to 50 when those finish. So we're trying to get this mission done here. Provoke some rebels. I want to turn off my maintenance if I can just to really rake in some money. So we're just we're just going around provoking revolts. Got my Aventech 14 here. New idea group. I think it's going to be quantity for my next idea. I'm going to go ahead and swap my focus to military now. I'm going to start getting my quantity ideas filled out. That's some good. The manpower recovery speed is actually super helpful. Go ahead and declare war on England now. Our truce is up. Right into that one. We are worth Strasbourg over here too. That's exactly what we want. It's actually ideal for us because we need, as you can see, we need his promises for this last mission. I'm going to go start upgrading my forts now that I can upgrade to level 4. I'm going to go to end this war, take these two provinces and a bit of money. That's going to complete this mission here, which is fairly nice. So for this mission, I did have to convert 50 provinces to my culture, which did take some time, but that's all taken care of. Get this mission done, and it grants us access to the military hegemon mechanic. We're going to go ahead and claim that. So we got a 1572 military hegemon. That is insane, if you ask me. And how the military hegemon works, if you guys don't know, every month you get 0.5 ticking towards a total of 100, so it's going to take 200 months to reach that max. And once you do, you're going to get 3 natural unrest, negative 20% line attrition, and plus 10% move speed, as well as 20% siege ability at max power. However, you will always get province war score cost negative 10%, monthly mill power plus 1, and monthly war exhaustion negative 0.1. So it's actually super, super powerful. I have issues getting military access to actually siege down Portugal. This is a bit annoying. I'm not sure if I can fix it, really. really. I didn't get rid of this guy. He's a 113 air. Well, if a guy's 57, that may have been a questionable choice. I'm not sure it's fine. Slowly improving relations with Castile in hopes of being able to get access. I could send an insult to Aragon, I suppose. There we go. Military access is granted. I'm just going to go ahead and deal with Portugal now. I haven't been able to get the war score I really want. I can upgrade all my forts around the Ottomans now because I'm planning to go to war with them and I want nice forts surrounding my borders. I'm going to build forts down here too. I just want to make sure even if they got military access that they wouldn't be given access to the proper forts that are basically mine. 525 is not too bad. I like that. I'm going to have Portugal just to nil with England. That'll give me almost all war score with England. It's kind of weird because England has like no colonies and Castles honestly doesn't have much colonies either. Weird. Portugal, yeah, the colonization in this game is weird. I'm going to end the war with England. Just take what I can here. A little bit of money. Super cheap to core things because of our current core creation cost, which is really nice. Currently at 55%. We will lose that 20% when our ruler dies, so it's not going to be there for long. Go ahead and seize land here. We're almost at 70%. It's going to be worth just having a little bit to get to 70%. I'm fine with that. There you go, 71%. We got a nice we got a nice bonus here to our reform progress growth. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my great project in my capital. Just have a bit of extra money laying around. That should be helpful. A little bit of tax dev. To finish up quantity here, that's just going to be helpful to have a more force limit here. Also going to grab this land force limit policy. I, I just want a pretty big force limit going. So I, we're, our max is now 272. That's going to look pretty good. I'd like to have a pretty b big army to fight the Ottomans. Also going to start annexing Meath here. We just have a lot of extra points. Might as well annex him. Frontier reform will just grab and power the burgers. I'm building up a proper navy now. I'll go ahead and build a flagship here. Fleet morale, fleet engagement width, and movement speed. I'm going to go ahead and take the burger loans just so I can get the institution brace. So here we go, embrace institution, grab my tech to 15. I'll get my other tech to 15 in just a bit here. I'm going to start recruiting a bigger army here. I've gone ahead and built up to 275 with just a hair of a force limit, but that won't really matter. And we'll pay off a loan or two, so we're only in three loans. i grab my military to 15, just get caught up on that, and then we'll get caught up on Diplo in a bit here. I'm going to attack the Knights, who just kind of found this easy war here, and it's going to pull in some other people in the coalition. Maybe we can use this to get, dissolve the coalition. we will be a war with Venice and Aragon. Gonna crush Aragon right here in this battle. Gonna wipe peace out Aragon for a short truce. Gonna wipe peace out Triant because I can't get to him. Gonna wipe peace out Venice for a short truce. Now I'm gonna send 25 guys over to this province here. And this war, just grab this province and this one here. Looks good. Now we have Malta, which is really good. Gone ahead and got Meath annexed. That's good. Gonna fix up his states here, so we're gonna have state on state. 
to the state, unstate, state. And this is, you have to do this whenever you annex somebody, just so that it gets it back into the half state. Suppose I'm going to dev up just a bit here. I've just had max, doing the max points and nothing to spend them on, really. And also Castiel's allied to someone way, way over here. I'm just going to no CB this person. And that way they'll be called into, that way Castiel will be called into the war. I'm doing this just to make the coalition weak. I'm going to salt down his fort here. It's going to be a lot of losses, but I'm going to make this quick. We go ahead and white piece out Castile. That should make it so he can't be in the coalition with me. There we go. The people are just going to start leaving the coalition. There we go. Coalition is gone. And now we're going to have our way with Europe. We're going to deck on Lundberg here. We piece out Martian, Polonization. Going to piece out Berg, Polonization. Go ahead and piece out these guys. Grab Polonization. Money. Go ahead and piece out these guys. Grab Polonization. Going to grab Mill 16 here. Going to clear on Savoy here. We finally did lose our ruler. That's too bad. He had the Iron Crown, so we don't have that anymore. So we have a 160 for half a year. We do have a 525 as our next leader. That's not too bad. Maybe unintentionally muted myself for a bit here, but I just want to give you guys a wrapping up point for this video. We've gone ahead and grabbed Granada from Castile. As you can see, we snakes a little path here. We did this so we could get a connecting path to Portugal. There is no current coalition against us. We are in a little bit of loans. So we're in 8,000 loans. Nothing to be worried about. We're the number one great power with 3,568 dev. We've got 76% professionalism, 94 armor tradition with 325 guys out of the 329 force limit we have. Currently one above GovCap, so we need to build some buildings from the future. We've eliminated England, Scotland, and our colonies are actually getting wrecked by Huron and, and the Iroquois. So we maybe need to help them out here. Maybe, maybe we got a deck in the future on these guys. If you guys would like to see a part three and final part where we go on and to form Rome, let me know a like in the video. If it hits 500 likes, we will do that part three. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.